This is the Huawei P20 Pro and in this video we'll show you 11 tips and tricks for the newest flagship from Huawei. We can't show you everything in this video because there is much more but if you'd like to see a second part tell us in the comments. These tips also work with the regular P20. Let's start with the notch. Some people love it, some people hate it. I personally do like it since it's not too obvious and it has a lower profile than the notch of the iPhone X. But still, you can deactivate the notch quite easily. Just go to settings, display, notch and make the notch almost invisible. It won't become useless however since it will still display status symbols. After unboxing your new Huawei phone, you can save a lot of time using the app Phone Clone. Install it on your other device, connect them to each other and transfer all apps, photos, music and most settings easily. With Huawei smartphones, you'll almost get a perfect copy. If your old phone is not a Huawei, you'll have to log into some apps manually again. The P20 and P20 Pro both come with an always on display. However, it is very well hidden and you can't find it under the display settings. But instead under security and privacy, screen lock and password and always on information. Unfortunately, there are not many customization options but you can set a time window for it at least. Which you can't do on the Pixel by the way. For activating face unlock, go to security and privacy, face unlock and scan your face shortly and choose if you want to unlock the device directly or swipe first and if notifications should be hidden. Afterwards, you can unlock your device super fast. It also works from different positions or viewing angles. In the dark, you'll usually have a 1 second delay. An automatic white balance for the display suitable for the environment like we know from the iPhone, you can also find with the P20. Go to the settings, display, color and eye comfort and activate natural tone. This makes working with the display much more comfortable. Here you can also set up the color mode and temperature as well as turn on the blue light filter. If you want to take a screenshot of this cute cat and send it to your friends, you don't have to reposition your hand but just knock on the display. If you knock with more than one finger, it starts screen recording. Just go to settings, smart assistant, motion control. Here you can find even more interesting features like glove mode which lets you use your smartphone with gloves. Not always perfect but it works. If you like to see more space on the display, you can change the navigation bar or deactivate it completely. Go to settings, system, system navigation and choose out of 4 options. For example, you can use gestures on the fingerprint sensor instead. I personally do like the Android navigation bar so it will stay for me. You don't want the master AI to make your pictures look better, especially with the P20 series which changes made by the master AI are pretty visible. If you don't want to click away the scene recognition every single time, you can deactivate it completely in the settings. Here you can also turn on the 4D autofocus indication or in pro mode the auxiliary light as well as raw images and more. You'd like to take a super fast picture, for example if someone drives your wing mirror off and drives away, double click on the volume button and you can take a picture without unlocking the display with up to 0.3 second speed. Very useful if you don't forget to use it like I do. You are like me not at home and don't have your notebook with you to work? Plug your device directly into a monitor and connect mouse and keyboard via Bluetooth to switch to PC mode. You either have to get a cable for direct connection or a dock like I am using which gives me more options and more freedom. A smartphone can still be used normally or as a touchpad. These were some tips and tricks for the P20 and P20 Pro. Visit the comment section if you'd like to see a second part or have any questions. If you like this video feel free to leave a like otherwise the dislike button is right next to it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Umit for Mobile Geeks.